now we can finally start with the first match of the day truly 15 sway versus sock china versus korea night elf versus human one of my favorite matchups very entertaining great back and forth two base play oftentimes and let's start this Fifteen Sway spawning in the bottom left of Autumn Leaves. This is the old Autumn Leaves, by the way. Here in the Ted Cup, they're having some issues hosting the new Autumn Leaves. Unfortunately, but... Well, it's still mostly the same map. Especially this creep camp here is different in the new version, and so are the middle camps. And so is the green camp here. And the green camp here. And the expo also a bit different, so quite a few creep adjustments were made. I think the new autumn leaves is way better. But oh well. Here we are. Gonna be an Archmage versus Keeper opening, that's of course very standard. On Autumn Leaves especially, Night Elf can uh, select a lot of different openings as far as Creep Route goes. They can go for the natural expansion first, like we're seeing here, or the green, or even the merchant. I'm a big fan of the merchant creep first. Oh, look at the wisp. Can't get attacked here. A player's forces are the human can also attack. expand on both... Uh, gold mines. Both are possible. This one easier to creep, but also easier for the opponent to attack. Oh, look at that. So going for the gold mine creep over here right away. I was talking about that a while ago. With uh, Todd especially. I was saying like, why don't the humans go for instant expansion creep like they do on Northern Isles, also on this map. Now we see it. How much damage is he going to take here? Oh, Wisp coming in. Sees what's going on. Not summoning the second watch elemental, really. Ah, okay, there we go. Now he does. Alright, so peasants took a little bit of damage. But not too much. Wait, did he creep with six peasants? Oh, wow. Sock actually crept with six peasants, so of course his lumber is low now. Foot he sent across the map. Oh, and this Lumber Harass is really nice right now by 15 Sway. Great adjustment. And he's only one peasant to get the level 2. And he will get it indeed. Alright, expansion here is going to get cancelled. Alright, the game's going to get weird now. Keeper can harass the peasants. But so can the Archmage and the footies. Expo cancelled on both sides. Who does this favor now? Very hard to tell. Forces are under attack. Right, we're gonna have to keep track of these peasants. How many are gonna go down? Seems like the keeper can do a lot of damage here. Can summon more treants. Archmage on the other side also summoning more water elementals. Oh, look at that. Second Ancient of War 15 Sway over at the expansion. And. Under siege. This seems to be looking a bit rough for Sok, I would say, right? I am finally going to return home. This Ancient of War here is pretty brilliant. Keeper's buying time right now for the AOW. Sok may just have to expand at the natural now. And the tech has started. But that one also quite late for 15 Sway. This is a pretty unusual game. With this aggressive start, the expo cancels on both sides. All right, here come the militia. Pretty sure the Wisp saw it, though. Or if, like, if he goes for the Mercs right now, and then attacks, that could be really scary. A player's force is but at least the expansion is going to be finished creeping. 
Early boots on the AM as well, so he wants to be able to chase down these archers easily. Didn't find any items, unfortunately. Oh! Look at that, he sees the pull! Can't kill the Shadow Priest though, or can he? If he chases, maybe he can. He's got those boots after all. Since we didn't go for the Berserker, that's a bit surprising. Did plant the expansion though. That's a huge tech lead for the Night Elf. Of course, the Night Elf taking faster is normal, but by this much. Alright, that's your priest. Nicely sniped. That's kind of a big deal. Now the Watch Elementals can't get dispelled too easily. Saga's gonna find the cancel again. Vital Zone expansion is coming up. Lumber in the main is looking okay. Not amazing. Oh, but the Keeper got great items. Lots of bonus damage. Oh, fully denied. Nicely done. If he gets the Water Elemental, that is perfectly level 3, I think. The other one, Water Elemental, is 42 experience, right? And that's the Shadow Priest missing. With the Shadow Priest, he could have easily gotten this Elemental. But now it's probably going to get denied. Arcane Tower not finished yet. Alright, Keeper can find some more damage here towards the Peasants. One goes down, and that is going to be level 3 in just a moment. So doesn't have many units right now to defend. Seems like perhaps he has to call Militia from the main. But Lumber is still low, and he's still not teching. He went for defend early. To make these footies more durable. Oh my god, the tech is so late. Now we can tech finally. There we go. Six minute forty tech. Fifteen Sway already has the Panna at that time. But of course the expansion was delayed by a long while, so as so often in this matchup, it's gonna be faster expansion and more gold income versus a faster tech on the other side. We'll go for the dead found. Ooh, if he wants to go for a bear bust, this could be really strong. Oh, use it right away though, for creeping. Yeah, pulling the creeps in the middle and sniping the item is really easy on this version of Autumn Leaves. Something that was specifically changed on the new version. A bit of accuracy. Decent. We'll fall off though later, as mainly in the late game we're gonna focus on bears. But for a while, for the archers and dryads, actually gonna be pretty good. Zeppelin and Shredder for Sock. He definitely doesn't want to lose that Shredder, and he shall not. Oh, and with that, he can prevent the entangling of uh, the gold mine here for quite some time. Nice play by Sock. Buying himself a lot more time now while he's mining. Macroing up, towers coming, blacksmith. The bank's still not that big for Sock. How much does he mind? About two thousand. A player's forces are under attack. Tier three being started. Suck a bit too late to find some lore cancels. Good base build, I would say. By fifteen sway here. Nicely having the buildings between the bases protected. This agent of war ended up being a bit of a waste of resources, but. That was a nice idea. Sok knows now that uh, with the Dryads coming, he lost all map control, but he still wants to be active. That's why he's got the Zeppelin. Oh, Jesus Christ. If there was a reveal from the lab, the Zeppelin would have fallen. Whew. Always very scary. Oh, no improved bows yet, by the way. With improved bows, maybe could have also taken out the Zap. Alchemist second. Okay, to counter the panda. I'm always a big fan of Archmage plus Alchemist <clears throat> plus Blood Mage combo with tier 3. But it doesn't seem like Sok wants to go tier 3. He's got double racks. Ready to go into mass rifles very soon. Here we got the first rifleman. Lumber's still a bit low for him. Are under All 
Alright, Panda, level 3 already. This is certainly a power spike for 15th way. He doesn't quite have the bears yet. But strong heroes. With Keeper and Panda, both on 3, the Alchemist. Got some good items, but it's only level 1. Two towers at the expansion is a little bit of help. The rifles are coming. Oh, Priest, kind of uh, busy healing in the main. So, lots of gold still to spend. Going for a second Sanctum now. Interesting. So, a couple of rifles into Breakers later. This is about looking very Fortitude-esque. No Tier 3, no Workshop, no nonsense, just... Mass Tier 2. Well, I guess Fortitude plays a lot less rifles. He plays a lot more just Caster Breaker. Oh, look at that heal spray. Good sustain here from the human army, but where's the damage? Damage seems to be somewhat lacking at the moment. I always slightly cringe when the humans upgrade the attack upgrades late. It's only 100 gold! Only 100 gold. It's ridiculously cheap. But it is coming now. And Sok finally has a decent army. Can go for a heal scroll here. I'm sure he will. Creep up the map. And then he has the option to push the expansion of his opponent. Or he could even transition into tier 3. Play it more passive. And go for heavier creeping. I am always a big fan of human tier 3. But... Sometimes humans will stay on tier 2. Look for the push. Thank you, by the way, Weck, for gifting us up to BGG Joker. Double heal scroll for Sock now. Oh, getting caught. Oh, pulls the red camp, sees too late that the Night Elf is close by. A little careless. Not be looking over there, but I guess he's not going to get too punished by the red camp. But this army for Sok doesn't really look ready. It's not very much, uh, not really a big force. And where's the heal spray? There we go. Sok's now also starting to come in. We even have some militia joining into the fight. Sok has the supply lead. But you could argue that the Night Elf here has the stronger army and the stronger heroes. And if he gets close to 80 supply, it's going to be very hard to deal with his bear army. A player's forces Go are tier 3, Sock! Tier 3! Big camp for Sock. It's going to be level 4 and 3 for him if he gets the experience. Level 4 Archmage already. Alchemist is almost there. Have we seen a single acid bomb yet, by the way? I feel like we haven't. Oh, Alchemist getting caught in the front. The Zeppelin! The Zeppelin! Not being used. And now the bears finally get to connect. Entangle against the heal spray, also nicely done. It's not that many bears, though. Perhaps they could get targeted down. Slow, of course, being applied over and over. There is still two heal scrolls, by the way, for Sock. This might be looking good for him, but more bears are coming in as well. Mana potion used, Breath of Fire connects. Sucks army just looks so small. Is there a unit stuck somewhere? Not really. And 15th Way seems to be coming out on top in this fight. Peasants in the back, <laughs> trying to take out the archers. And there's no heal scroll anymore. Oh, another potion! Sock has to TP out. How much is he gonna lose? One more. Oh, actually saves everything there. That was nice for him, I guess. But he's still stuck on tier 2. And now 15 Sway has a big lead in this game. Oh, and he's gonna get the red camp as well. Disaster. A player's forces are under attack. Breakers had no armor upgrades. That's a bit weird. Especially when you're staying on tier 2. Normally you go 2 0 on the rifles and 2 armor upgrades on the breakers. Having 1-0 rifles and 1-0 breakers. Maybe not the right call. A 
Legion Doomhorn. Wonderful find right here. Fifteen Sway is looking very, very strong. Alright, we got the Ancient Django, just as good as well for the human. But he still doesn't have heal scrolls. And before the next big fight, he's certainly gonna need one heal scroll at least, rather two. The Alchemist also really has to use Acid. Did he use Acid Bomb once into the bears? He should solo creep the Alchemist here for level 4 and then use that Acid Bomb. I mean, I'm not as big of a fan of Acid Bomb as some other people, <laughs> especially Neo. Um, but if you can hit like 4 or 5 bears with it, it is pretty good. Eh? Alright, here we go. Heal scroll. TPing home to defend. Town Hall will not be falling yet. Position here is great for Sock. Oh, the Mortar team also mispositioned. Sock not playing a very clean game. We definitely see some mistakes here and there. Acid Bomb! Oh my god, would you please use the Acid Bomb? Right here. There we go. Alright, now you can see the bears are taking a lot more damage from uh, the back line here. Ooh, but it's also so much AoE. Fairy Dragons did a decent job. Next heal scroll is on cooldown. Tries to give it over to the Alchemist. It's on the ground. Alright, there we go. Heal scroll comes in. Panda has no mana anymore. Upstock's army also has shrunk quite a bit. Some more experience, of course, for the Night of Heroes. They're both level 5. And if they should get, get, if they should get to level 6, that's a win condition in and of itself. And are going to be staffed out and saved. Fifteen Sway wasn't quite able to win the game here, but I would say certainly still a trade that favored him. He got the double level 5, the next attack is going to be scarier. He saved a lot of his bears and took out a huge chunk of Sox army right here. Took out both heal scrolls as well. Once again, those have to be rebought. And Sock never gets to that huge army. Alright, Sock's starting to get tricky now. I like this. Oh, is he gonna go for a cannon tower, maybe? <sighs> that would be pretty cool. He's got the workshop, so he can go for a cannon tower. Alright, it's just Garden Arcane Tower. Alright, we got the mortar teams in the back. This is uh, also something that can be abused on the old version that we have here of Autumn Leaves. On the new one, not so much. But I mean, look at this army. This is a joke of an army. This is three breakers and four rifles. Oh, Blizzard. Alright, oh my god, that's huge damage against the bears actually. Whew. It's just so many bears. And to level 5 Panda, 15 Sway just simply looks too strong at this point. Heal scroll used once again. We have one more heal scroll available. Some bears are falling, but look for the next breath. Look for the next breath. Panda's lining it up. Drunken Hates, Breath of Fire. Ooh! Baby. And of course, when there's no Blood Mage in the game, the Panda can just completely roam free. Alchemist, despite the rings, will go down finally, and that is GG. Fifteen way up by about 20 supply. Nighttime now, lots of regen from all these moon wells. He's got the wellspring upgrade. Oy! Next breath of fire comes in. And the panda and keeper actually even getting close to level 6. Akram's back from the tavern, but this is looking very hopeless now.
I'm a big fan of Panda second for the humans, actually. Panda second, and then uh, go tier three and Blood Mage third. That's something that I saw, in fact, the first time from Sock. Was that WGL? I don't quite remember. But yeah, Drunken Hands with the Fire is actually even decent against bears. Especially the mischance. Not to be underestimated. And if you have tier 3, Inner Fire, and a Blood Mage third for Siphon, and maybe even Flame Strike, can be really strong. But of course, it doesn't work too well on maps where there's not that many creeps. On this map, there's a decent amount of creeps, but not crazy. And we're finally gonna see the GG. Sok was struggling, holding on for a long time. But 15 Sway does it in the end. Yeah, if you stay on this tier 2 army, I feel like you have to play more aggressively. Sok was just mostly passively creeping. In which case, I would have much preferred to see a tier 3 style by him. If you go Blood Mage second, you can actually go into the late game on uh, tier 2 because the Flame Strike can do so much damage in the late game. Plus, of course, Siphon also. Very strong. But with only Alchemist second, if you stay tier 2, your window is going to close pretty quickly. Is it best of 3 or best of 5? It is best of 3 for the whole group stage. Also, tomorrow, the quarterfinals, the top 8, are going to be best of uh, 3. Right? Yeah. And then on Sunday, for semifinals and grand finals, we're going to have best of 5s. Second map's gonna be Tide Hunters. That should work out a lot better for Sock, I would assume. It's a pretty e easy expansion to creep. You just go orange into Expo normally. And uh, in the late game, especially, it can be very hard with bears to find the proper engagement here. They have a lot of narrow pathways on Tide Hunters where the big bear army can have quite a tough time. And especially Blood Mage with Flame Strike can be super strong. Thank you very much, Kainzel, with a nine-month resub. He says, great. I imagine that it was referring to 15 Sway's play, which indeed did look great. The Chinese takes the lead. He knows for this whole group stage, he's only going to have to be concerned with human. So I imagine his practice went heavily into Night Elf versus human, which is where already he was able to shine earlier this year. At WGL Summer, where he was able to beat Chimiko in the quarterfinals 3 to 2. And then moved on against uh, against Moon, I think, right? And then he lost. Something like that. We head into our second game. Sock down 1 0. 15 Sway, more and more. Cementing himself as one of the best players in the world. This has been a great year for the young Chinese player. 19 years only. Warcraft 3, the game itself, is almost as old as 15's way. I just realized, uh, yesterday, I was uh, talking with my friends, and then, uh, I got a cousin who was born in 2002, who is now beginning to go to university to study. Born in 2002, studying now. Which once again showed me how old we're all getting. <laughs> oh, we're such boomers. Anyways, it's going to be Archmage versus Keeper, very much standard opening.
Instant Expo by Sock. Oh, really? That is not the norm. It was definitely a bit of a problem on Autumn Leaves that his expansion was so late. As he tried to go for the Corner Expo first, that was cancelled. And then he had to go over to the Natural. And then his expansion was late, the tech was late, everything was pretty late. Oh wait, the overlay's wrong. Whoops. Good catch. Here we go. Now it's correct. A player's force is under attack. Oh! Sock got the Wisp kill. That's a big mistake by 15 Sway. That's what gave him level 2. Creeping the natural is not quite enough for level 2. You need just a little bit more experience. Which is why it's so important to deny uh, Wisp and stuff like that in the early game. First little blunder by 15 Sway. Alright, we're trading some early game units. Proxy Tree of Life should not be getting cancelled, I imagine. Keeper still not too close to level 3. He's got Wisps right next to the Expo. I like that. You want to have them in position to detonate quickly if needed. And the tech starts for 15 Sway. Once again, as is the norm in this matchup, <clears throat> the human expands faster, is going to have more income more quickly. And the Night Elf is going to be the one to tech faster. We're probably going to see a panda second again by 15 Sway. It's very nice on this map to have an early second hero to creep the merchant and the marketplace quickly. You get a big timing advantage going for tavern hero over altar hero. And uh, Demon Hunter second is hardly being played anymore. We saw it for a while. It can be actually pretty good against the Blood Mage. If you time it well with the Entangle against uh, the Siphon and all that. But it's mostly... Panda. Nowadays. So he has lots of peasants still in the main. With his aggressive play that he went for, he protected his uh, peasants, of course, across the map. Because 15 Sway was forced to defend first. His Tree of Life and his archers and all that. But now the Keeper's about to get level 3. He needs only one more footy. So denies here would be huge. As we see the tier 2 starting. Oh, look at that. Sock finds the window. Oh! The tree is on water right now. Pitting has to TP. TP, 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 TP! This is a mistake. Not using the TP. I mean, he might be able to save it in the end, but... He shouldn't risk it. Oh! And guess what? The tree is gone. Big mistake by 15 Sway. Not paying enough attention to the tree. Ideally, one Wisp should have been like here to scout for the AM approaching. But also not using the TP. Very greedy. Gets punished right away. And Sock with a big play in the early game. Manages to get far ahead. Oh, he's got a very early shop already. Interesting. So, time for the second hero. Huh? 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 Finally. Is it the panda? It sure is. Forces are under attack. But Sock bought so much time for himself with an Expo kill. Going for the classic, no-nonsense, double barracks, rifles coming soon. And the 60 or 70 supply push is going to be terrifyingly strong. It's hard to imagine how 15 Sway is going to be able to hold on against that.
Oh, the Keeper could harass in the main, actually. But he's looking for the human right now. Did he sell the TP? I think he sold the TP, right? Seems like he did. Oh, picking off archers here is a big deal as well. Every single unit for 15 sway is very important. Because this push that's coming in soon is going to be extremely dangerous. Panda also going to be forced into this heal pot quite early on. Is he making more footies? Wait, what? A player's forces are under attack. He's not making rifles. Alchemist again? Footies and casters. That's a bit weird. Oh! Does it use the TP? Suck! Oh no! That's a big loss on the AM. That's gonna cut heavily into the resources, and that was a lot of experience also. For our Night Elf player. And he's just making more footies, dude. <laughs> Lol. Tree quite damaged already, but should not be falling. Keeper still. Alright. Ooh, Archimage. Wait, maybe he does have the damage. I think he does have the damage, doesn't he? Oh, it's close. It's close. Wisp repair. Where are the wisps? Should have definitely brought more wisps from the main base earlier. Oh, it's still close. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Archmage. Trying to get in a few shots, but has to TP out. Alright, there was a lot of units going down. Is Sock throwing away his lead right now is the question. Losing the Archmage, losing the footies, wasting his time here, not getting the kill, not able to creep. The panda should be close to 3 now, right? Yeah. But no tier 3 yet for 15 Sway and no second lore yet. He's going for the Shredder. I guess he needs it. It's very low lumber. Sark is attacking again. Dude! Alright. If he gets the tree, of course, it's game. There are a lot of wisps here now for repair. Entangle on the priests. He's got the spell anyways. Alright! This time it might work out. Mass Wisps coming out for the repair. Panda trying to clean up the footies. Breath of Fire, there we go, finally. Heal Potion on the Keeper. Tangle on the Priest, it's kind of weird, I think. Oh, repair, too late! Alright, Sock. Was trying hard to get this Expo kill, and he does. Killed it twice, basically. Oh yeah, didn't mention the three claws yet, by the way. That's some sick damage. And I think we got an equalizer. Very nice game by Sock. Just uh, clean, straight up game. Kind of tactical, I guess you could say, early on, with how he was deciding to be aggressive to protect his own expansion across the map. And then when he found the Tree of Life snipe right here, that was the big one. Fifteen Sway not giving up yet, though. Suck in the meantime, going to tier 3. Oh, we finally have rifles. First rifleman. Starting to be made.
Alchemist doesn't really have the best items here. Wearing two pairs of boots as well. What a fashion statement. Fishing's Wave probably is trying to trust still in his heroes. If he gets to double level 5, maybe something can be possible. But he's still pretty far away from that situation. And now we got stuck with 4 and 3 levels as well. He's looking strong. Oh my god. 4 claws of attack. Alrighty. Even the item here is going to go to Sock. Mana Stone. Ooh, baby. Starting to go into Knight's Master Casters. No third hero yet. Sock, why do you hate the triple hero so much? Alright, so I guess what Fifteen Sway has to do is do a lot of damage against the bases, harass the human, buy time for the expansion, keep mining for a while there, and then slowly climb up to 80 supply. But he's so far away, so far away from having a decent army. Oh, here he is. Finally, the Blood Mage third. Some good arrests at the expo, look at that. All peasants taken out. This is certainly slowing down Sock by a bit. But the thing is, 15 Sway's army is still tiny. Only 50 supply. Oh, the crowd doesn't even make a sound. Lazy Blizzard developers. Didn't have a crab sound. All right, here we go. Oh my god, look at that position. How are the bears even supposed to get in? That's a scourge bone chimes for these bears, which is certainly very nice. But the army size difference here might be a little bit too much. Did the siphon mana just cancel because he walked around the trees? Does Siphon cancel when there's no vision? I guess it does. I didn't know that. Oh! Polymorph! No mana for Breath of Fire anymore. The strength of the Blood Mage being displayed. GG called. And Sock gonna equalize. Very different game. Sock with a somewhat unconventional fast expansion. Instant expansion, I guess it was. Into aggression. That first Wisp that he lost, that gave the Archmage level 2, that really came back to hurt him. Is going to tie up our score and bring us to one deciding map for who's going to move on in the upper bracket. Seems like both players pretty evenly matched here at the moment, with some slight mistakes on one side each per map. And now Concealed Hill will be the decision. That can be a pretty tough map for human at times, especially the expansion creep here we have seen time and time again be extremely hard. Isn't Sock your favorite human player? 
I don't think I have a favorite human player. Sok is uh, Carson's favorite player, favorite human player. I guess mine is. I already have one. Uh, I guess it's Infi. Infi's just so amazing. But at the moment, out of active players, it might be Johnny Cage. I really, 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 really like Johnny Cage. I guess that would be my favorite player. What about Todd? Well, Todd is also, you know, my sweetheart, as you guys know, but... I just, uh... I'm a big fanboy of Johnny. All right. Players are in. Players are ready. We're counting down for the decision. Map three. Who's going to take this match point home and move on in the upper bracket? Winner will certainly be facing a human, as going to have a human mirror coming up after this. Chemiko versus Snow. Looking forward to see Snow playing the first time. Chemiko, of course. Is going to be the big favorite there. Chimiko used to be known for uh, having a weakness in Human Mirror, but I think that time is over. He has shown some great results in the past against Sok and against others. What are we going to see now? It might be more of the same. Archmage Expo against Keeper. Aggression with a later counter expansion. That is kind of the norm. As we go in. Concealed Hill. Quite a bit, big task for the human at the very start of the game. Well, not the exact start of the game, but early on into the game. How is he going to creep the expansion? How is he going to be going to two bases? There's a hard expansion to creep with lots of poison. The keeper harass can be very dangerous. So much so that Nidos on this map will fairly regularly go for a mass huntress all in. But that, of course, also is a, a dangerous strat to go for. As with the mass hunts, even if you destroy the expansion, you might still lose if the human manages to tech up to tier two behind it. Because huntresses get utterly demolished by a tier two human army. Keeper, Archmage, obviously. On some maps nowadays, uh, we see the Warden a bit. For example, on Shallow Grave. But actually, Shallow Grave is not part of the map pool here. Instead, we have Turtle Rock in the pool, which we've seen a few times, especially for Orcs and Undeads. It's a really good map for Orc and Undead. Pretty bad, though, for Night of and Human. Remo, can you do a shout out for my granny? Absolutely. Granny of Broland? I hope you're having a nice day. Footy Scouts, sees what's going on. Keep are going to try to creep level 2 here first. This seems to be the norm nowadays by the humans. If they see the keepers heading south, you want to harass that, I guess. Oh, big last hit. There's a huge last hit. Oh, and it goes to Sock. 
That is bad news for 15 Sway. Of course, doesn't have Entangle yet, so he can't punish these footies here, really. As is getting ready for the expansion. Might wait for night time. And here we go. A player's forces are under Seven attack. militia coming. As the keeper is not level 2 yet. This is not so dangerous, I guess. Oh, and look at that. Calls the militia. Gets the dust at the same time. Great early game by Sock. And the keeper still misses a little bit. And the keeper is also low HP. So he can, push, can be pushed away from the expo fairly easily. But now does finally get that level up. Wisp detonate coming in as well. Ooh, Peasant's taking quite some damage. Footy's gonna fall. Alright, big last hit. If the Keeper steals this, he's back in the game, but no, doesn't quite get it. He's getting a good amount of experience here, though, to be honest. Nigh on the Peasant. But two Footies died, so there's hardly any units right now to defend. Again a Peasant and I. And now the Archers come in. Um... It's looking a bit rough for Sock here. Next peasant falling. Dude. Where the- What? Where were the footies? Four footies suddenly appeared out of nowhere. They were on a little coffee break or something. Definitely a bit of an error by Sock. Players forces are under attack. And now we have the expansion starting. Definitely delayed by a noticeable amount. Archmage not quite level 2 yet, but we'll get it here in a moment. Level 3, I mean. Fifth way, setting up the counter expo. This one could be cancelled, by the way. If Sok is bold right now and moves across the map with level 3, he could cancel this tree. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, does he see it? He's gonna check this position. Nothing here. These two frogs are up to something. Alright, now he sees it. Does he have the damage? Footies are coming in. This is a big moment. If Sok gets the cancel, he's certainly gonna have a lead. But the keeper's level 3 and there is a panda. Drunken Haze first, I would say. Hmm, no Drunken Haze. Alright, tree is gonna get cancelled. There we go. Nice play by Sock. It's going to cost him some footies, probably, but well worth it. So now 15 Sway has to creep the camp and expand on the spot. And Sock should know this, so he can stick around. But first, we're going to have him creeping at the lab. The Only three archers, by the way. Under Did he lose some archers? Three wisps needed for the detonate to get rid of the elemental. That's also pretty expensive. Sock once again able to do a lot with very little. And the keeper is not able to clean up these footies so fast. I mean, they will die in the end, don't get me wrong. Is he going double racks again? Well, I guess a bit too early for that. Tech starting, shop, blacksmith. And if it's going to try to survive on one base tier 3. Counter expansion cancelled for now. And Sock clearly taking the lead this game. Lumber is looking decent for Sock. 
Gonna have enough for Sanctum and uh, second hero. Is it the Alchemist again? Is that just his style? Alchemist, all the way through nowadays. Oh, scroll the beast. That's not the item he was hoping for. Sock knows he has a big lead. He's aware that, however, a bear bust can be dangerous, so priority right now should be to fortify the expansion. Three towers should do the job. Looks again like the Alchemist. Oh, never mind. Blood Mage this time. Blood Mage, Double Sanctum. Good creeping by 15 Sway. With the strong heroes and the drives that he has now, 15 Sway knows he's got map control. So you want to aggressively creep camps away from the opponent. <coughs> Maybe catch some units. Oh, the Moonwell was late. Uh-oh. Vision's way he's stuck at 40 supply. Oh, if the Moonwell gets cancelled. Uh-oh. Is it gonna finish? Is it gonna finish? Oh, this is a big deal. But he started the bears. All right, at least he started one bear. But still, that's a big supply block. Oh, the Archmage. Ooh, he died earlier. Oh, quite unnecessarily. Oh, well, it's a close one again. But the priest should be coming in, right? Yeah, there we go. Priests, sorks. I wonder how many rifles it's gonna make. Only two at the moment. Doesn't he have doesn't even have long rifles yet. Sock banking still a bit on 50 supply. And 15's way. Still stuck at 40. Oh, this is so annoying. Can go for two more bears. And then he's gonna have a very strong 50 supply army. Five bears, the two heroes, and a bit of range damage. Will be a very strong 50 supply army. But of course, Sock can go into upkeep quite easily soon and have a way bigger army. Oh, and tagging against the siphon. Nicely done. Invo potion used right away. Also, good timing there. We don't have a depth training, by the way. So, it's a bit scary. Sock still not breaking into upkeep. If 15 Sway keeps trading well here and manages to counter expand behind it, this can still be his game. Oh, but his lumber is so low. He actually can't afford an expansion at all with this low lumber. A player's forces are under attack. They camp in the middle. Sock doesn't want to give it away too easily. He's still not breaking, I can't believe it. Can you believe it? Need some experience. Needs that flame strike. Would love to have level 4 Archmage as well. Alright, there we go. Finally now breaking into upkeep. Panda coming back in. Full mana. Against the fire could be pretty strong. Oh, nice flame strike. Against the approaching Night Elf army. That was kind of cool. And he's got more of those. At least two more. Siphon again. Panda is almost dry, but he's got the one of mana steal. Team strike! Blood Mage in trouble. He's got the heal scroll. He's gonna have to use that soon. I love the boots on the Blood Mage, by the way. 
Blood Badge will oftentimes be out of position because he's using Typhon Mana, of course, all the time. So having boots and rings and everything to keep him alive. Woo! It's very good. Yield scroll, last second. Sox Hero Control is looking very, very good here on map 3. Oh, that flame strike hurting his own militia a bit. But Sock manages to hold position. One more Sox coming in. And also the Mortar teams, quite the big help. 15 Sway, still at 50 supply. We'll have to TP out though, and there's still no expansion, importantly. He now finally had the resources, he had the lumber. A player's forces are under attack. He's trying to go into Mountain Giants, however. And now Stark is going to have a very big army soon. 70 supply on his way to 80. Still has one heal scroll. Would love another, I'm sure. And then Invuln. Good levels on 15 sway though. Keeper's about to get 5. Which, truthfully, isn't that strong anymore in this late game. But the panda, if he gets to 5... He can still be devastating, even against the Blood Mage, <clears throat> if you manage your movement well with anti-magic and invo potion and stuff. More upgrades coming. About to be 2-2 on the Breakers, by the way. Rifles don't have many upgrades, we don't have many rifles anyways, but we do have more teams, I guess. Oh, nice Flame Strike! Hitting two of the bears very well. Forced into the heal scroll right away. Sock's army doesn't quite look like 80 supply, but it is still of decent size. Would love to see more breakers, I think. The Archmage gets level 5. Uh, level 4, I mean. Big level up for the entire army with the Brilliance Aura now on level 2. Blood Mage also getting closer to 3. And Sock now. In a commanding position. Wins this fight here once again. Could go creep the red camp if he wants. Or could expand again if he wants, maybe. In fact, we see towers coming up. This is scouted, though, and will be cancelled. Runebracer is actually pretty good for the Blood Mage. Again, everything to protect the Blood Mage is very helpful. Tells it though. We do have Mountain Giants now. And there's not much in the way of dealing with Mountain Giants. Flame Strike, I guess, does decently. And Blizzard could as well. But we're still on Water Elementals at the moment. Alright, Scourge Bone Champions. That's a great item for the Bears and MGs. The Panda's almost level 5. He's gonna staff home. Ooh, that Flame Strike. Very good, of course, also against buildings. As we all know from the legend that is Angry Korea, man. And these Moonwells are going super quick. Flame Strike and more teams, no chance. Panda running in. He's, he needs that level 5. Needs that level 5 desperately. And he's got it. He's gonna have one combo. Dragon Hands, Breath of Fire in the back. But Sok realizes this is not a good position for him anymore. TP's out. Are the playoffs tomorrow? Yes. Playoffs are tomorrow. Same time as today. 12 p.m. noon. CET. Seven hundred gold on sock can easily go for more items here. Oh, they can go for double heal scroll and invuln, and I imagine he will. Indeed, three heal scrolls now. Blood Mage almost level four. Eighty supply, more or less, for the human. 
on his way to get a third base. Sock in a marvelous position. It's hard to imagine how 15 Square is going to win this game. Oh, wasn't even going to tier 3, by the way, in the meantime. With so much of a lead, I guess why not? Thank you, ModNeW, with a 9 month resub. It's a smile. Oh, huge flame strike! Oh my god! Hitting all the bears and MGs and also the panda. The panda's doing some good AoE damage, but the rest of the Night of Army doesn't seem to be doing any DPS. Alchemist third, here we go! The wonderful trio. Archmage, Blood Mage, Alchemist. Very strong. And I think we're gonna see the towel being thrown in here soon. Oh, the MG. Oh! Oh my god, does he survive? 12 HP? Got him! A treant! I'm sure that we could come up with some poetic verse for this, like some kind of Chinese proverb. How the tree destroyed the mountain. You guys remember by in Mulan? What did the emperor say again? The storm can rage however it wants. It will never bring down the mountain or something like that. Dude, I loved Mulan back then. I still love Mulan. Be a man. Da, 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 bum, bum, bum. I think I'm gonna watch Mulan later. Fifteen sway. He's still trying. What about the live action Mulan? I didn't see that. And I don't want to. Like... There's no way... There's no way it's gonna be better than the original, right? So... I feel like I can only ruin the experience of the original Mulan. By watching the new one. Unless, of course, you don't know the original. But we do. We do. We are mil millennials over here. We watched Mulan. We love Mulan. Inner fire. Breath of fire. Fiery times. 15th Sway is still resisting, but there will be no redemption for him. Man, I love the Blood Mage. I love the Blood Mage. One of my favorite heroes. Definitely the coolest human hero. Blood Mage, TC, Crypt Lord. Those are my favorite heroes. Is there another one? No, I think it's those three. TC, Crypto, Blood Mage. Do Night Elves have cool heroes? Not really, right? They're all kind of boring. Tavern heroes. Tinker's pretty cool as well. I guess Fishing Sway is trying to get to ultimates. He's killing quite a few units, to be fair. Sokka's also doing him a favor, not making knights this whole time. Is he finally gonna start? Hey, there we go. First knight already on the way. A town is under siege. Forces are under attack.
Well then. How you doing, chat? I wonder what we're gonna see in the human mirror. Are they just gonna play standard? Or is Chimiko gonna get a bit feisty? Alright, he needs the Panda Ultimate. The panda Ult does a lot of damage. That's for sure. Oh, well, the Blood Mage doesn't have an evil Potion here. Needs to be a bit careful. Choo-choo on the Knights with Inner Fire. Oh my god. They are very strong. Needs a few more kills. Not too many casters left to be frying here. Oh, look at those chops from the knights. Look at those chops. 50 sway, really trying everything. But in the end, he will fall. In the lower bracket, of course, 15 sway is still gonna have a chance. There we expect him to be playing against Snow, the unknown Chinese player that I've never seen before. And here we go, JG finally called. And Sok gets the comeback. Was definitely struggling on map one, but found his footing very nicely later. And Sok moves on in the upper bracket, which means we're most likely going to have a Korean human mirror if Chimiko does fulfill his role here as the favorite in the next game coming up. And that's going to be in just a moment.